Pure energy. That's what I think this is all about. Pure yeah. energy, right? We want something that is sustainable, that's uh, eas easily accessible, and that sun sure. thing seems to be, keep going all the time, right? You can't yes. really turn. It may not be on us at this moment when we're sleeping, but it's still out there it's still somewhere out there. in the world. That's right. Guys, all give right. it up for sustainable solar in the building here. Nick Bowling, Ronnie Mitchell, the owners. We wanted to bring in some experts to talk about this. Uh, I'm going to jump right into a quick shout out to our sponsors. That everybody can see on the walls behind me. There we go. Um, we do have um, my good friends. Brooke is a great guy. He supports our community. But Carol House Furniture, his sister is awesome too. And I just, I'm just hang out, I hang out with Brooke practically. Obviously. But uh, some people see me running around. And Brooke does a great job in our community. Thanks to Carol House Furniture because you like nice things in your little castle. But you need something important also to make sure you have power, right? We're going to get to that. Um, with that, they'll look at behind me, which wall did I put it on? Yeah, you can see it there. Uh, there it is, yep. And so I'm gonna even switch that one more time and I'll go back over here. We do have, we were doing dual monitors over here, everybody. So look at that, <laughs> USA Mortgage, my good friends there, the Flowers team, we love those guys. We couldn't be doing all this without them and uh, great support that we've got from those guys. So we really appreciate that. With that, I'm putting up on the wall what we're here to talk about. There it is sustainable solar llc.com and we got some pretty pictures we're going to put on the other wall so now we've got all the walls all around us the walls are protecting us but we need some power for the walls how do we get power guys well, well of course you 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 call us and you get you get solar panels <laughs> <laughs> give it up for ronnie and nick let's talk about so why did you guys decide to get into this solar industry i mean it's emerging for the last 25 years some people obviously have had, we should drive by we see some these places that have solar panels out there um, but why why is this really taken off now to be something that really is important and well uh, you know obviously uh, you know the sustainable uh, uh hence the name uh is is a good thing for the environment and uh you know uh, solar has uh, economic benefits also so uh you know we we got into this because uh Obviously, we, we believe in, in the green movement. Uh, we, uh, we, we really believe in, in solar. There are plenty of benefits that are offered by solar. Okay, Nick, tell us more. Uh, so I kind of got into solar. I started uh, right after high school. I went to Crowder College down in Neosho, Missouri, and I got a two-year degree in uh, solar energy and then also got a one-year certificate in wind energy. And through my time down in uh, at Crowder College, I got introduced to uh, a couple other companies, and they uh, taught me a lot about solar. I worked for two solar companies down there uh, for about three years, and I also got NAPSEP certified while I was down there, which is kind of the big going uh, certification in the field, and it's a it, it's a good thing to know. Uh, whoever you go through with solar that uh, they are NAPSEP credited. So uh, yeah, I, I got NAPSEP certified and got a bunch of other certifications through the years and led through, uh, led at a couple different companies and started my first company, Gateway Solar, uh, two years ago. And after that, uh, me and Ronnie kind of uh, we were both being working through a different company uh, doing some subcontracting work. We kind of joined up and we started Sustainable uh, and we benefited each other's in ways that each other were uh, lacking. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, yeah, nobody's a master of all. Uh, it's what I say, master, uh, master of none. Wow, well, now I'm messing it up. <laughs> Master of nothing if you try to master everything, right? That's right. There's no way to do that. So if you guys are helping each other, That's right. you figure out Nick's strengths, you find out Ronnie's strengths, sure. and exactly. now you've got a team built together that actually can produce good product for everybody. We talked, yeah. we spent quite a bit of time, last time we talked to, to kind of talk about what we wanted to cover here and a little bit obviously before the show here in the mm -hmm. in the pregame prep we call that, right. in the green room. And you guys have yeah, kind of a, it emerged a little bit because there were other companies out there and they're doing their jobs and do whatever they're, but you saw where there was a need to come in and make some right. of the stuff right. Is that, is that kind of how it went, Ronnie? <clears throat> yeah, it, it is. Uh, you know what, Nick and I, we just, we, we look at ourselves as, as consultants more with the, so as it pertains to solar. We, uh, you know, we, we want the customers to be aware and to be able to make uh, 
of, of firm financial decisions on on uh, on as far as it, it comes to solar. You know, we're there to answer answer questions for the for the customer and educate them. So okay, Nick, tell yeah. me more about the same. Well, well we definitely we're, both sides. we're we definitely aren't afraid to tell you it doesn't make sense. That's, That's right. the difference with us. We'll definitely tell you That's if right. it's going to make good sense in your case or if it's not. Because sometimes it, you know you have a bunch of trees around your house and it doesn't make any sense, but sometimes it does. It just uh, you know we don't want to we don't want to scare you know you. Continue on that. <laughs> no, I, 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 lost the I'll, I'll there. chime in there a little bit because I've I've been through this a little bit in our little planet, and I can tell you it ends up being an issue where um, very often there's a sales guy just trying to get a sale, right? That's exactly yeah. right. And he says, yes. "Hey, I didn't check to see if the tree trim. Like you can see that now. Everybody's yeah. house is on Google. You can right. look at that and say, there's no way we're going to put solar there.'" Well, we sold it to him. Go out there and get it to him. He'll never know well, that he's only getting fifty percent of what That's exactly what. Is that what happens? And I do not believe in. Okay. We, we really do want to be honest with the customers so they're able to make the decisions for themselves. We are not high pressure at all. We 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 we, we state the facts as we know it and and try to allow the customer to make those decisions. For well, themselves. that. You know. Uh, Nick, tell me about why that's so important for what you guys do. Uh, so. I mean, one big thing is that a client really needs to know what they're buying as well. And we've seen it through uh, other clients that have went through other companies that they, they didn't know what they were buying. And that's right. the big thing we want to make sure you know, because a, a big misconception is that uh, solar, I mean, it produces from the sun, but what if the grid goes out? Most people think that when the grid goes out, they're still powered because they have right. solar panels, but that's not the case unless you have uh, batteries. And, uh, or some power source, yeah. yes. And or some power source, yeah, besides yeah. the sun, right? I mean, yeah. it gets into, I mean, this if, becomes if a real... If you're a grid-tied system, there's, okay. there's different types of systems, which is important for the customer to be educated about, is, is there's a grid-tied system, and with it being grid-tied, it, you know, when the when the grid goes down, you have no power. And that's the misconception that some people are being misled is to think that just because they have solar panels in their house, when the grid goes down, that they will still be, have power in their home. And that is not the case without a, another source of energy to, uh, to power that system. Okay, so tell me then, I mean, there's obviously a lot that goes into making sure that this whole system does work because sun is not always there what are what are some of the hurdles i mean you got to have some experience with all of this stuff tell me guys a little bit more about your guys background with regard to your your experience in this industry and just in general where, where you guys come from to help other people understand what your background nick why don't you start off with that one uh so I, a lot of it goes back from everything i learned but you know that college and uh through all my other certifications to where i can gain the gain all the insight from what I learned, the science behind it all, to help people know what their what their system's doing. Uh, I mean, you can, our website also, you can look at uh, different services, you know, you can see what off-grid has to offer, what uh, grid tied or battery backup. Those are pretty much the three different styles of systems with, uh, grid tie you're just solely solar panels on your roof or ground and they will uh, just cut back your electric bill and help you save at that time but you don't have any backup power mm -hmm. now then you go to battery backup there's multiple different sizes of batteries that you can choose uh, dependent on your load say i just want a few lights on and uh, keep my meat from uh, thawing out you know keep your fridge your freezer on stuff like that mm -hmm. a client can get a battery in conjunction with their solar panels and be able to power those few loads when the power goes out and uh, off grid it's a little more tricky to you know to be honest the cost of batteries is quite high still so in a lot of senses, it doesn't make sense. Maybe for like a small cabin or uh, some kind of other 
place that is just going to cost too much to bring power into or mm -hmm. just you're not there all the time you just want it a little bit of electric at that spot okay so it sounds like when when it gets down to it the expert training you've had i mean certifications and things you talked about yeah, early sure. on the show i want people to understand just some guys picked up a couple solar panels and say hey guys we can we can make this happen yeah, right? right it's kind of catching on right that's my joke about the internet this internet thing's catching on well with that all kinds right. of new technologies including solar mm -hmm. i mean it really gets down to where this is an emergency <clears throat> uh, emerging industry right. ronnie Tell us why that's important that you have the knowledge that you bring to this table here, too. Well, I mean, obviously, you, you, you know, for one thing, we need to have the proper training that, you know, to be able to educate our customers. But not only that, our, em, our employees need to have their, their certifications, their training, because, you know, we're putting solar in many cases on people's new, brand new roofs. We, you don't want somebody putting them on, you know, or working on in that situation that, that don't have the education and the training to back that up. Well, and again, so, so important that it's not just, I mean, in an industry that's been around for a little while, but you have some guys, I guess a great point you were, you were making, Nick, and, and, I, and Ronnie, you're, you're obviously, that's what helps you guys is the training, the expert, like, I'm, I'm a licensed loan officer, a lot of people do know that by now, but um, you have to renew your license every year, and that means you sure. have to retest, essentially, sure. or retrain, or, or continuing right. education. Right. And that's what you guys sound like. You guys are really on the ball sure. with you that. You got to have yeah. continuing education because the technology's changed as time goes on. You know. Okay. Uh, so. Very important, then, I guess, Nick, from what you've been saying too. Yeah, I mean, pretty much every product we work with, we we get all the certifications that we need for those. We actually have a our whole wall in our office is full of different certifications us and our other employees right. have, sure. have had sure. and I mean, it's a big thing like Ronnie said when we're messing with people's roofs I mean that's someone's biggest uh, biggest yeah. asset in their lives and we're, <laughs> we're up right. there putting panels on we're about to either greatly <laughs> increase the value yeah. of your house yeah. Yeah. or potentially <laughs> greatly decrease that, the value yeah. of your house the job's exactly not done right. and then, I, I want to jump around here a little bit because I know we've got a number of things I always outline that I want to make sure we cover but one of those is um, how often have you guys found that you had to come in and fix some other problems that were caused by won't name any names but right. does that happen yeah. fairly often talk, oh, I know Ronnie talked about that a little it, bit it, it has happened it has happened many many times uh, uh, we have been able to help a, a, a lot of clients. Uh, <coughs> either the jobs weren't finished correctly or they were left hanging to where they weren't complete at all. Uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, Nick and I were able to help a lady that her system had been installed literally for eight months and never, never had gotten any benefit out of that system. I, I As a matter of fact, you know, Nick and I went and we corrected the problem and that evening, the electric company actually called the customer and said, hey, you're showing up on our grid. And, you know, that that makes Nick and I feel really, really good when we, can, when we can help people out like that. All right, Nick, you had something to say there? Well, yeah, I remember, wasn't there like two or three companies that actually were there prior to us and none mm -hmm. of them were able to figure it out? And that, right. that goes back to training That's right. because we were certified with that system to uh, be able to diagnose it and deal with it and uh, figure out what the cause and the root of the problem was. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's uh, that's some important stuff that we need to people need to understand. I mean, because this isn't a $255 purchase, this is something that actually is going to be of significant implications for their long-term future benefit of their house, right? Well, that's many right. people, their house, that's what I love that being in the real estate world, right. it's the most valuable asset 98% of the population has, sure. and it can really be their piece for retirement. You know, they mm -hmm. got the half million dollar house that it appreciated to when they bought it for 45,000, 20, 35, <laughs> yeah. 50 years ago, whatever. Right. And now they can turn around and say, sell that thing, it's worth half a million, and retire on it. Sure. And use it for their sustenance. And if you've got a right. solar roof on there, that could really help. To, yeah. to provide yeah. for that a little bit. Sure, that's right. Okay. Yeah, and it, it will up the value of your house as long as it, you know, it's done proper, <laughs> like we were talking before. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, if you look at two houses, you know, one across the street from you, they're the same thing. Some, if you ever came down to the point that you wanted to sell your home, you're you're gonna gain. Someone's gonna look at the house with solar and more willing to put more money on a house like that versus 
the house across the street that's the same size and everything right uh, they would they'd definitely rather have the one with solar well the good good points we're making there because I know a lot of people don't they don't uh, they don't understand when they're getting into this. It's just, hey, the government's got some incentives. We get it. It's, right. it's good things that we should probably be put, including in what we're trying to work on. Right. But at the same time, we're not uh, we're not just going to depreciate. Throw it, the one-off instance where they got taken something that right. didn't work out right, and right. it can be a very very substantial loss to the buyer. Right. Okay, we've covered all that. That's cool. I want people to understand. That's some, but tell us the real benefits. I mean, what are some of the things? Um, what what is it that really fuels your guys' passion to keep this thing going. When you guys talk about what you're doing, why why is this so important for our world right now? I mean, or one big thing is that, you know, um, there's a lot of incentives. You kind of touched on that. With the, the federal government, they give you a, a 30% tax credit. And uh, I mean, the big thing to know about that, though, there's a misconception there. Mm -hmm. uh, with the 30% tax credit, it's not actually a physical check that the government is going to give you. If you're not paying in the taxes uh, at all, it has no benefit for you. Mm -hmm. But in most cases, uh, you know, working class people, they they all uh, they generally will be able to hit that point to where they this tax credit is very beneficial for them. And uh, if they don't use it all up in one year, they can. It rolls on to the next year until they, uh, until they run out of that credit. Mm -hmm. So, it's There's a, some definite. And I mean, we're not we're not tax people. Tax advisor is just what we know about it. And, I right. mean, it's a big thing. You, yeah, you got to talk to your tax <laughs> advisor to make sure it's going to be right. something applicable to you or not. Right. And there's some utilities that also offer some kinds of incentives. I mean, like Ameren, Missouri, they offer 25 cents a watt to go solar. And that's actually a check you get there pretty they, quickly. They write a check for that. Yeah, yes. like one to two months after you're done with your install. So there's those types of benefits really help with the initial cost with the solar and uh, really helps people's return on their investment. And the big thing is that, you know, we we typically see, you know, returns on investments from 10 to 15 years, which it's, you know, it sounds like a lot of time, but think about everything that we install is built to last at least 25 years. Mm -hmm. That's a whole 10 to 15 years after you've seen your return back on your solar system cost. I mean, that's a whole another 10 to 15 years that you are you're gaining you're right. basically free electric at that point mm -hmm. basically free electric. Yeah, okay yeah that, that's free a cool electric. thing for most people that are going all right we we want to make this thing financially we, we love contributing right. to the world right but it needs to make financial sense too yeah. and it sounds yeah. like you've already pinpointed a couple of things i hadn't heard before I've, yeah and i just they can't cover everything don't go over everything there is to know about anything but i had not heard that one yet before right. And oh. people, you, if you owe taxes, well, and then you get into the, whew, all right. Right. So knowledgeable. Yeah. So one of the questions I have for you then is, are you guys consultants? Is that what you, are, do you guys consult about solar? Is that yes, really what, do. that's really yes, what you we do? do. We, you, not here to just sell know, anything. If, you're saying, I want to talk about. We're not here to, to necessarily sell anything. We, we, we do sell our own products. Right. But, uh, you know, we're, we're here. If, if somebody needs help, if they're unsure, if they're uncertain of, of whether the, the deal is, 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 is beneficial to them they can call us we'll come and take a look and, and make sure and we'll give you the honest truth all right so what tell me then as we get into what are some of the questions that consumers should be asking i mean there's a lot of people out there that would say man i'm excited looks like we should do this gonna be great want to help the planet right what are some of the important questions that they must ask first well yeah, i mean obviously be careful of, of, of scammers uh, you know, <laughs> right. as with any industry they they are out there you know, you know, make sure that the, you know, make sure you, you, you get somebody that answers all of your questions. Like, uh, is my roof condition, is it, does it need to be upgraded before you put solar on? Uh, because if you put solar on a bad roof and your roof starts leaking, guess what? You know, you got to tear the solar off, pay us to come or somebody like us to come and, 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 uh, and, and take the solar off so you can replace your roof. So you want to make sure your roof condition is 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 up to par before you install your solar. You know, 
uh, there's there's other questions, you know, the, the financing if needed. If, if, if somebody pays cash, that's obviously the best return on your money. But be careful with the financing, you know, because uh, that can get pricey, as, as we all know. You know, uh, uh, make sure that you're getting quality products. You know, there's a, there's, you know, there's obviously as anything else, there's different levels of quality of, of solar products out there. So just make sure that you, uh, you know, that you, that you ask all of those questions. Uh, uh, Nick kind of touched on the, on the incentives. Make sure that, uh, you know, your t utility company is participating in, in, you know, because a lot of, a lot of clients get told that their uh, utility companies are participating when in fact they're not. So, <laughs> and a lot of people don't realize there are a lot of utility companies out there, everybody, that you want to make sure that they are included. A lot of people don't understand there's little bitty utility companies spread all throughout sure. the country, right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. In St. Louis yeah. or uh -huh. in Kansas City or New York, sure. there's one big company a lot of people may be familiar with, but. Um, <clears throat> If that company isn't partake, partaking in this, that's something right. else I need that's to do. That's exactly with. right. Oh, well, that's an, better talk to some experts. Better talk to some people who know what they're doing, right? That's why you got to call <laughs> Sustainable Solar, right? That's right. All right, I'm going to show up on the wall here for everybody. Take a look, as you will, everybody behind me. This is their website. Um, boy, is it easy to find the phone number there? Heck yeah. <laughs> way to go. I don't know who told you to do that, but that was a great idea. <laughs> and, and, and that's, Thanks, that's, Carter. <laughs> well, I, we would have reviewed the site. And I know a lot of people, they want the information. I'm like, one thing you got to make easy for everybody is you show them the phone number. There it is, everybody. 636-489-2700. And you'll serve, that, they can call that as a local number. You're talking to some local sure. guys, but mm -hmm. you serve us all over the Midwest and around the country. That's, that's, that's yeah. true. Okay. And then there's the, uh, a little bit more of a peek at the website. I want to also then show everybody a little bit about what this looks like. You got some good pictures there, but let's look at screen number two. And at screen number two, we have, look at that, man, some barns. And I mean, obviously, <laughs> I don't think the soil's on the barn, but it's next to the barn. It's uh, actually on the ground and on the barn. Is it on the barn, too? Wow. This okay, everybody look. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is over there. As I look closely. All right. Very good. And then some just great looking work, man. You really make a house look dynamite. I mean, yeah, they, man, those guys are cool. They got solar, right? And so a lot of great looking work you guys do there. And I wanted people to see that when we talked about that. So that's sustainable solar LLC.com. And, and that's up on the screen for everybody to see too. I'm going to go ahead and put, you can see there's Nick, the owner there, and there's the link to everything. And then Ronnie as well, as we put that on the screen for you guys. All right, well, let's go back and, and have a little more conversation where they get to look at some, some humans here as we talked about what this is all about. Um, what, what, can, what types of systems are quoted? I mean, what does that mean? Or what does it mean to somebody to get a quote when they're talking to you guys? They say, I need a quote. What are they really getting? Uh, so they're getting a, a full, uh, we take their, first thing they need is their utility bill. We take their utility okay. bill, look at their usage, and we will uh, design a system that will uh, offset as much as their utility as we can with the available space they have. I mean, we have software that calculates in the shading, if there's any, and it also calculates the pitch and uh, what angle you are facing your panels uh, to give a very, very detailed report on the production that you should be able to see. Mm -hmm. And then we base that with, uh, you know, what their actual utility rates are and all those things to be able to show them if it makes financial sense or not because there will be bars and graphs and all kinds of stuff to show you what mm -hmm. each month is going to look That's like right. uh, potentially mm -hmm. and see you know kind of what your return on investment is and uh, we also take into effect you know electric's always going up I mean what was electric 10 years ago mm -hmm. how much was your electric bill I mean it takes an account for that and kind of shows you where you ought to break even at on your system and then how much you're going to save in the lifetime of your system. And it kind of gives them a little look of what their system will look like on their roof as well because we'll see how much will fit and all that. Right. And then we meet at the client's house and go over everything and answer all their questions and let them see and make their decision. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that's important. And I, for that, I put the Cardinal Cowboy hat on because when we talk about customizing things, this is my own little customized hat. Yeah. And um, boy, that's important because there are no two houses that have the same similar, oh, the exact no. same no. solar condition on the planet. That's right. I mean, not even, not is, two buildings. That is, that is right. No two buildings. Okay. No. That means it's very important that people get somebody to know what they're talking somebody about. Somebody knows what you're talking Ronnie, about. Ronnie, talk yes. about that. I'm going on a tangent here, but I want to figure out why should somebody be very careful they get a custom design system. Obviously, that's critical. Right. Explain well, that obviously, me. as Nick just spoke, you know, you, you have you have uh, potential shading issues. You've got all of those uh, the, the factors that, that could come into play that can affect the performance of, of your solar panels. So, therefore, that has an effect on you know whether solar would be a fit for you or not so so yeah i mean that's that's really what drives us is 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 being able to educate the clients you know let them make their decisions uh, on uh, in an educated way and you know that allows nick and i to sleep at night we we would never take advantage of anybody you know we're gonna we're gonna show them uh you know the, the facts let them make the decisions you know our quotes are of uh, uh, no cost you know we'll 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 sit down and we'll do a quote and, and as as nick said we have all the software that provides all of this information that is critical in making those decisions very important now we're getting into, i mean I, I guess i have a particular affinity i enjoyed being in the outdoors i love the sun i, I get a little tan every once in a while I, <laughs> all that's neat um, that's good for us uh, uh, vitamin What's that? Vitamin E, vitamin, vitamin D. Vi yeah, vitamin I don't believe D that's what it is. Vitamin D. <laughs> I had a big scar on my head. Everybody knows about that from my coma and all that. But vitamin E for that. Vitamin D, I think you get from the sun. But yeah. there's also good use then for obviously the energy that's pulled out of that. Sure. And we're that's really right. talking about something that is so critical for our long term. I mean, the most valuable company in the in the world right now is a mobile electronic yeah. car yeah, exactly. company based that's on right. electricity versus. That's right. Carbon and all stuff there. And I don't get into that whole discussion because there's arguments on both sides of that. But we better figure some of this out uh -huh. at some point because we know that where that leads. But um, sun is, is, is just, it's, it seems like a, almost an unlimited resource. I think they know this. Well, I think 30 million years from now or something, it's going <laughs> right. to. But we, we got a little time to figure yeah. that out. Yes. Okay. Well, I, I wanted to get into the depth of this conversation with these guys because I know there's a lot that people just don't understand. This entire interview does go for an extended version. We're gonna continue for an hour and uh, we're coming up close here to the end of our first half hour already, guys. I told you it goes fast. It goes fast. Yeah, it does. And so this whole interview get, does get cut up into clips. There will be a number of clips that you guys will be able to um, view where these two experts, as you can see now the camera there, our, our, our highly priced cameraman is taking doing good work here to switch yeah. our camera all around there. I appreciate you doing that. That's Nova. Thank you, Nova. And uh, get a hold of these guys because they do know what they're doing and they're experts and they really get into it. So do check that out. And I would say with that, make sure you can see all that information out there on our website. So with that, we appreciate you guys. We really want to uh, thank you for your time so far. But hey, everybody, we're not done. This right. is going to go on now for another 30 minutes at least we're going to talk about. So with that, let's continue on. I've got a few more questions to ask you guys, and I want to make sure that I'm going down because I, I, I do write down my notes. A lot of people know I do write down my notes, but I write them down on my digital version. And uh, let's get into a little bit of that. But let's tell, tell me, what is one tip that you really think is important um, for people when they're looking for the services? Yeah, they may not have thought about because it it's pretty okay. Right. I want to be okay. earth friendly and all that, but what's a right. big tip, Ronnie? Well, one that of you the think? things, as, as we discussed, I mean, your 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 home is is one of your usually one of your biggest assets. You want to make sure that not only the the the, the company that's selling you the the solar system or quoting you the solar system, you need to ask questions about the the installers because you know the installers need to you know they're, they're going to need to have the proper insurances you know uh, first thing let me back up a minute it, ask the 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 person who gave you the quote are the installers employees or are they subcontractors you know that's that's important to know because you know you you want somebody to be to have the the proper insurance if they're going to be working on your home you know they they need to be able to uh, to be credible so, I mean, that is a very important tip to me. Well, of course, Nick, tell me something you, you, you know is so critical, if you would. Uh, so, I mean, you're kind of going at it, uh, you know, making sure your installer is 
properly trained as well and uh, knows what they're doing because ultimately we covered it earlier it's your home your biggest access asset <laughs> right no and that, that is and, true for most people obviously I, I don't know I have to look that percentage I quote that a lot um, but one of the things you hit on me with her that was important to me in my mind that that I think is uh, is critical is um, it's often not the whatever mistake that was made by whatever whoever mm -hmm. it's how you make it right and it sounds you really right. guys going around making it right sure but get it right the first time that's right kind of what we talked about we said because we spent a little yeah. extra time setting up for this shoot ladies and gentlemen this uh, video recording because literally I want to make sure this thing's done right the first time how important is that for what you guys do because man you're talking about the lady who was not getting she wasn't on the grid for how long did she how much money did she lose that Right. I mean, yeah. is that I mean, she, she lost? I mean, it was six months of investment, so that she had zero return on. So, uh, you know, your 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 install will 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 make or break you. You can ask our employees. Nick and I are always critiquing, and we're we're always there watching. And and, and our guys do very very good work. So. Okay. Nick, you want to touch on anything there? I know we talked about a couple, but I always like to get, pull a little bit more because if you could tell me the one story, that's great. Tell me, if you can tell me two or three stories, I'm like, you guys have helped a lot of people. Right? So, I mean, there's an, another one that, uh, well, the original <laughs> company that installed the solar for one of our clients, they, uh, they installed it originally, never really worked too well and then they had a hailstorm and needed to get their roof replaced well after they bought their initial system and they they hired a the same company to come back out and take their panels down and reinstall it well this company came out you know they paid them eight thousand dollars to take them down and put them back up and this company took them down and put up a few mounts after the new roof was there and they sat with all their panels all their equipment and on their deck for another five months until they found us to come out and put the system back up the company, so, the company went out of business is yeah. what the thing was and, and they left the people hanging so you know we were yeah. able to help them out in the situation the same as we will anybody uh, you know if you've got an existing system that you need service on uh, you know, please, please contact us. We will be able to help you. Okay. I'm going to jump back into some of the technical stuff. Are, are ins insurance guy, or I'm sorry, installers, are they licensed? How do, how, what's the process that somebody goes through to become a, a licensed or, or, or secured or insured? I mean, those are things that I got some guy coming to my house, jumping up and down on my roof. <laughs> what's going on here? Are we, are we going to, how, how critical is that? What, what should people be concerned with there? So, I mean, you don't technically have to have a, sort of all-in-one license I mean one thing you want to make sure you the company has a master electrician mm -hmm. that is reviewing everything to make sure everything is done right and you know electrical connections are made properly and the design was proper mm -hmm. now it's a big thing to make sure that some of the you know most of the installers are at least certified with the certain products they're handling because I mean, for most of these products that we use, they, you have to be trained just to be able to turn the system on. So it's a, it's a big thing that, you know, they're, mm -hmm. they know what they're using. Right. I mean, it's, it's not heavily monitored, so that's <laughs> another reason people need to be careful of who's installing their system. Not <laughs> a well-regulated industry <laughs> as of yet, and maybe that's right. coming. But the bottom line is get to know the people that's right. that are doing the work. And that's why we want to always highlight leaders on our show that we have vetted. We've talked to you guys quite a bit. We've done mm -hmm. some research. I got to know you guys. Right. And I'd be like, okay, these guys know what they're doing. Good mm -hmm. guys. And that's who we want to highlight on our show uh, because there's so many people out there. And, and I don't think there's anybody on this planet. There's a few. I've studied the, the data. There's three out of 100 people, they say, according to the scientific <coughs> studies uh -huh. done by the uh, psych psychologist, um, quoting Jordan Peterson again, but three percent of people are just kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, right. Hopefully, they're not running the company. Right? Right. But it, with that in mind, there are a three. There's going to be some people out there that just don't mm -hmm. have it together. They have good intentions, or maybe not. But you, generally, my point was a lot of people do good intentions. They just don't have it together yet. It's tough. Right. That's right. You want to get with some guys who actually have proven themselves. How many 
jobs have you guys been part of and worked on and fixed and installed? Uh, just this, yeah, just this last <laughs> past year, we've been on roughly 200 right. in the past 200 year. jobs already. Talk right. about that a little bit, Nick. Uh, it, it's crazy. It's uh, definitely in the heat of summer. It's uh, <laughs> it's uh, all hands on deck. It's a pretty crazy time, but uh, me and Ronnie live for it. So, <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie, yeah. tell me why is that important? I mean, obviously that's a lot well, of work. It's important. I mean, we 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 do a lot of work, especially in, in, in the spring and summer months. You know, and Nick and I are afraid to to throw on our work boots and get up there. And we, we we've had to do it because we we. We we went through a lot of <laughs> a lot of product and a, and a lot of installs you know over, the, over this past summer. So. All right, well, tell me a big challenge that um, the the consumer, or maybe a challenge you guys have been through. This helps us to get to know you a little bit because if anybody says, "Oh yeah, I started my company and everything was perfect from day one," then you know they're not in business for very long if that's the case, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, what's a challenge you guys either went through or you see in the industry or that you've seen your consumers? Well, well we had deal with. we had to learn a lot about permitting. Which is another important thing. That okay, talk about permit, can, permits, everybody. Per, permitting, uh, you know, yep. uh, we take care of all of those, you know, all of that process for you. The engineering, the design, uh, you know, uh, we take care of all of that. And that's that's a very important piece of it because the whole process and the, ins and the inspections and the permitting, it can get quite complicated. So, And I want to emphasize that a little bit because somebody who's been through a little bit of that part of the world with regard to permits and getting things... <laughs> We just went through a, an A or B and B process. Mm -hmm. Somebody I work with closely inherited a house and they said, what should we do with this thing? And then this whole Airbnb thing is going crazy. And then we went through what their actual process is. And we're like, holy cow. Mm -hmm. But they do that for a reason. It's because they want to make sure this place that people are going to be sleeping in is safe, right? right. <laughs> and yeah. The building doesn't fall over <laughs> while they're, they're laying in bed. Right. And that there's, there's definitely something that can be substantiated to keep this place safe safe for a long period of time mm -hmm. we see that come out real stories that come on and all of a sudden they're like and today we have a water main break <laughs> i covered one once i won't name where but they, it was right. an old street thing and they but they were on it had to fix it but man that affected a whole lot of places and hopefully we're not talking about water main breaks but you're sure. talking about electricity oh, yeah. which could be a lot more dangerous oh, yes. everybody heard about it. i mean that's used to be i would get it used to be one form of punishment in the world yeah, right yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay we're getting kind of yeah. crazy but i mean literally that how many of us have accidentally touched the hot wire when we thought we were doing some of our oh, own yeah, we all so, <laughs> but yeah you're talking about a lot of power that's going into right. house here that's right. all right very important stuff um what, what gives you guys the most satisfaction more for what you do if you had to talk about it when you um, said when we're then when the day is done I'm gonna start off with you on this one, Ryan, because I keep it on oh, Nick. There, I, you, go the, you know, I tell you, you the, both the, you guys know your stuff. The most cool. rewarding thing to us is is uh, is, is satisfying our, our clients. You know, the, to get the reward of, of of a customer that is just ecstatic. You know, we we've turned systems on, and the electric meter will actually turn backwards. Well, people are doing dances over that, it, it, and that gives us great joy. Yeah, yeah, that, <laughs> that that is the biggest reward that, that Nick and I. You know, we, we, Nick and I have the same philosophy. We're not here to get rich. We're here to make a living, just like anybody else. You know, we have to make a living, but, but, but the rewards of, of being able to, uh, you know, see customers that are, uh, that are being served well and, and, are, and are happy with, with what we do. Nick, talk about that if you would. Man, he about hit it on the nose, but. Uh, one thing I can add is I, I love when, you know, I've, we've had clients actually reach back out to us after they got installed with their first bill and they said, well, it was negative this month. Mm -hmm. My bill was negative. Who, who has ever had a negative bill? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that means you, you produce so much that month that you actually have credits rolling on to the next month at that point. So it, it, it's same thing like uh with the meter going backwards mm -hmm. and uh yeah no, that's 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 great when customers see that that's yeah a, that's a well i would say <laughs> isn't that uh that, that has got to be very exciting everybody i mean i'm getting camera guy turn the camera on me a little bit i want everybody to see that is got to be one of the most exciting things because i don't know anywhere you get a bill and at the end of the month they're giving you a credit I mean, they used to do some little thing on the credit on the cell phones, but not right. not in the real world with right. these kinds of things where you've got a monthly recurrence, something you have to have. Right? Sure, you ha that's right. I mean, you don't have to have power, I guess. You could live without it. It's been done on our planet before. <laughs> that's right. But these days, they talk about it, man. If they wanted to cause chaos, they would cut the power. <laughs> that's right. And, and that's another thing to keep that's, in mind. Yeah. When you have solar, yeah. 
there's a, at least I know I think they're on the path. I've studied this a little bit. Tell me if I'm right here. But ultimately, um, this does give you some other means. Right now, there's they're getting to the path where you could just live off the solar. You don't need to be part of the grid. Mm -hmm. But it's not really a common thing yet. But at least the yeah. pieces are in place. It's, for it's you. starting to it's starting to come together. You know, the technology is you know is is going to keep you know getting better. You know the 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 batteries which we spoke of the the cost of them that will come down. I'm 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 thinking that it will just like anything else as the technology oh, of increases. Course, yeah. So, yeah. Well, that's another key piece. A lot, of, but I would just talk about it as I've had. I've talked solar with a few friends of mine and people I know, and it's kind of a really. I'm a technology guy, and it's really kind of neat because imagine though, something crazy happens. <clears throat> One guy has a solar roof, the mm -hmm. other guy does not. Right. Who's going to be able to turn that something into something that, that they can right. use the sun for yeah. faster exactly. than the other one, right? <laughs> He's like, I don't even have panels. What do I do? Uh, so. You better go move. <laughs> go ahead, Nick. You had something. One, one thing I was going to, I was going to backtrack and I hit a point that Ronnie was getting on to. Uh, so one big thing, you know, is, yeah, the, everything's advancing in the field, but you, you can always get panels. And add batteries later yes. after the technology gets better. Good point. There's, right. And you can take in and reap benefits from solar uh, and save money through your elect, you know, cutting down your electric usage with just the solar alone. And we can always come back out and put batteries mm -hmm. on the system. Or you can, I mean, you can even add on to your panels or add more batteries and stuff. Everything's right. built yeah. to. You know, you can always add on with That's solar. Right. Tell me a little bit more about that, Nick. So you can, it's, uh, no. <laughs> you can always add on to your solar and That's right. it's uh, n never stops. I mean, you, if your electric usage goes up and after a few years, you can always add more to compensate that. Or if you wanted to start off small and say, do, you know, enough for half of my bill right now, and mm -hmm. then let's touch base and one two three five right. years right. down the line when uh, it makes a little more sense for me to add that extra bit to uh you know just to ease the ease the load on the client to where they aren't you know they're not pressured or have right. to do it all at once that's right and that's something that, that, okay. that others don't tell <clears throat> not everybody tells that because you would rather make the sale bigger you know but but you can start off small you can add to it and keep going and build from it and one big point I wanted to say was what one thing that aggravates me the most, most driving around and seeing solar that other companies put up is when I see it on the north side of a roof. Mm -hmm. Some companies will, it's all about the biggest wattage system I can sell because everybody's, you know, charging by the watt. And some people will be like, well, look at that nice north side roof. It doesn't have a pipe in it, one. I don't have to go around it. Let's just throw the panels up on there. Nobody's ever going to know. That's what bothers me the most, just like when people may put it right under a tree or a drown mount right behind a, like right behind a building where it's always going to get shaded. That's right. I mean, if I it mean, doesn't it's, make uh, it's pretty much useless. Yeah, at that point. <laughs> oh, well, and I say, I say, let's let's expound upon that just a little bit, if you guys will, because that to me is something I'm going, holy cow. Um, so is it true then? It's a matter of a, a roof that is faced because it's still slant. You're just saying, yeah, the sun's coming in mm -hmm. over here. Yeah. yeah, and the roof is facing the other side. Yeah, it will work. The sun is yeah. not going to move over here. I'm, right, the sun's where it is. The south is the uh, <laughs> is, is the preferred. Yeah. Right, because uh, of the equator, because, we understand it. Okay, yeah, some basic yeah. stuff, but yeah. if you don't know the direction of your house, I guess I would hope I would figure that out. But I'm a, I'm a techie nerd, and I'd like to know the direction I'm going right. most of the time. So, but holy cow, if you didn't, that's, that kind of goes back to when a company shows you a quote to make sure to study it and look at it and make sure where they're talking about putting the panels on your home. Mm -hmm. And that's a big thing to figure out. Okay. okay. We're getting some expert insight here, everybody that uh, literally, I mean, like could cost, save somebody from costing yeah, themselves. Sure. Exactly. And completely useless in, in, in the case, I guess is what you're saying might be the case. Pretty. I'm, I'm kind of getting blown away here guys. That, that's pretty cool. Um, how does your company contribute to the community or to our planet? What do you, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. What do you guys think with regard to all of what you do? I mean, pretty neat. But what what is it that hits you with that? Well, I mean, obviously, with solar panels, you got zero emissions. I mean, that's 
that's a great thing. So it's a contributing factor. I mean, I've always kind of you know lived my whole life trying to be you know to recycle and you know use renewable things if, if I can. So I mean, that's a that's a big contribution in my opinion. So I I, I, I love that. Nick, well, we're giving the people a sustainable way to live, and uh, with solar, you, it's not just that you're helping the environment and uh, emissions, like Ronnie said, but you're also gaining economic value to yourself and your family that you can save and put more money back each month. And over time, you know, you're 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 gaining money at that point that you're not spending. All right, guys, we've, we've hit on some heavy hitting questions here, and I, I'm really glad that we did because um, uh, there's just a lot. I don't know, I, I get into some of these deep thoughts, if you will. I mean, I'm, I like to pretend I'm a miniature philosopher sometimes, right? And uh, what's important, how do we sustain? I, I was went through a lot. I was in a coma and lucky to be here. So I feel like, gosh, it's just so fortunate that what all we get to do to be on be part of this little planet. And boy, if you talk about sustaining somebody's ability to live, that's a pretty big thing. Right. And, and you guys, probably a lot of businesses you guys could sure. take on and run, but sure. that's something you really get to make a difference here. Before I forget, I got okay, I yeah. to gotta add this in. Yeah. Our tagline is, we put it where the sun does shine. There you go. <laughs> yep. All right. Exactly. <laughs> we, we should throw that in. I, here, but... I haven't mentioned that, so I had to bring it up. <laughs> well, you heard it from Ronnie here. Say, well, look at that camera there for me, Ronnie, and say, you're, you're on the big, the big camera up there. So look at it and say, we, we gonna... put it where the sun does shine. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Well, that's that's critical because if, uh, the, and, I, and as Veggie you just mentioned, it never crossed my mind because I felt like <clears throat> the sun comes down and it gets to the panels, mm -hmm. well, no matter where they're at, unless they're upside down, I guess, but not really. Yeah, if you're coming it's... from over here and it's that way, was it going to bounce? You put yeah. some mirrors up, right? Is that what yeah. people try to do this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty much is, you know, based on a south roof, that's your best. Now, east and west are not bad roofs at all either. I mean, if you're basing off of the south roof, your east or west roof will be 80% of the production that your south roof would make. So it makes it where those three roofs are the ones that you would want to put solar on. Okay. Any roof but the south, north definitely the best. How many people don't know <laughs> which roof is north and which roof? I mean, I'm looking at, I'm thinking about our studio and the roof that we have here, and I'm going, pretty sure that's north. But I guess if I were to get out of the compass, which yeah. I haven't done sitting, yeah. I get that in my car automatically, but I don't have that in my house. You can, you can, you can, you can, everything's got an app. Yep. Cell phone, uh, yeah, you, you're you can, right. You can have a compass. Right Holy cow, I'm just like, <laughs> bam, hello. I'm going to start driving around now. If I see a, a roof on a house, I'm going to go, I'm going to get out of my compass. <laughs> what side of the roof do they sell those guys? Yeah. Nick, Ronnie, call these guys. Yeah, they're they're wrong. They're, it's sideways. Jeez. Yeah. Well, all right, we got we got a few minutes left here. I want to cover a couple important things because, guys, this is a full half hour um, on that we, that we air on our national network, ABC. Uh, but we also then many times go until for another half hour at least to talk about it because it's just not enough to co cover everything in a half hour. So see the full uncut interviews on our YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. And uh, the links for all of those are on our website, which is at yourlittlecastle.com. Check out these guys because literally they have stuff. I'm going to throw up on the website one more time. They're, uh, I'm sorry, on the TV screen. They're one, one more time, their websites. Look at this work again and then look, check out the site there. So this is where you can get your information. Sustainable Solar LLC.com. Did I say that right, guys? Yes, you did. Yeah. And... Uh, one time I left off the LLC because there's a lot of companies that do that. That's important. <laughs> right. Limited liability corporation. That's right. You need to have somebody who has one of those, them LLCs <laughs> because it can save you. You know, you got somebody with the substantially backed and right. all the stuff that goes along with that. Sure. Well, all right, guys. Um, if there's one thing you do for fun in our community and that really kind of ties into all of this, what would you say it is that uh, when you're just out and about, you, you enjoy being part of our community? Give me a little bit about yourself so we can get to know you a little bit. What do you do for fun? Ronnie, what's something you do for fun? You know, I love football. We talked about Chiefs. that. Yeah, I love that. Cheese. I love that. I love old cars. Classic cars. Classic cars, okay. You know, 60, 70 cars. I love that. So, yeah, that's uh, that's that's the things that keep me going. Cool. And what about you, Nick? Uh, I, I love to play music. I play the guitar and 
that's kind of my happy place along with uh, being in the outdoors you know fishing or hunting and stuff like that so those are my my key things that I you know I enjoy doing well that's important and because we want to know a little bit about each each person as they come on here because these are humans behind the behind the scenes sure. that, that make things happen and you get to know these guys a little bit it helps you make a conscious decision to say all right I felt like it's hard to look fake and fake people out and be on camera, right? You do that, that's a movie, right? right. And their stuff is staged, <laughs> and, we, and we know yeah, that's fake. That's right. But when somebody's looking you in the eyes and they're trying to act like they're doing an honest service and they can't get on camera and, and be in front of people, well, what's going on with these guys, bro? Right. Why don't they that's want to be right. up front with us on everything? Right. With that regard, uh, let's talk one more little topic I'm going to throw in here that we, we dabbled with a little conversation about. You mentioned it there, and I'll get from you, Nick. Uh, do you have a sports team that you love the most or some, a, a team that you think is – as a kid you loved or growing up or a particular sport that you like uh football is my favorite sport you played football i know yep, you I were the center <laughs> yep. the center of attention no you were the center <laughs> <laughs> yep I, I got the got the ball every offensive play but uh yeah i'd say uh, chiefs are my favorite team in football so mm -hmm. you know shout all right out to them recently so, so i think they've done recently they've <laughs> yeah. done fairly well i happen to have the world there there's go. the Chiefs super bowl that's from the last super bowl They've got another one coming right now. Well, not not too long ago. When you watch this video, maybe when was this? Right after the Super Bowl, maybe. <laughs> but watch it and just know that the Super Bowl just happened. Um, and I love to get into the sports discussion with people because that's when you really get to have an unbiased from the perspective. Of like, if you love your right. team, that's great. If we don't get into the separating ourselves with which political party you get into, who you favor based on their their policies. Let's right. just talk about what makes the world go around. I believe, and that's right. business because. Right. Everything that gets funded, everything that gets contributed to usually came from some sort right. of income that came from a business that was helping people. Right. And that's, that's really true. what you guys are doing here, and it helps people a lot. Um, so uh, are you guys, let's go down to sports, if you will, because I'm trying, I, I've got a, a method to this, and okay. I'm part of a group called Metafans, and they're doing a national thing that's really cool. So we went up to, actually, it was in Wrigley Field, everybody. Forgive me uh, for my Cardinal friends, but I was in Wrigley Field. It was dynamite. It was incredible. Go there. It's a lot of fun. I just love baseball, and you should be at Wrigley Field for an exciting event if you can. But they had the MetaFans annual event for the Super Bowl there. And I tell you, when you get to meet people and talk to them and get to know them personally, I made more connections there than I think I've made in any networking event sure. in the history of networking. And, and I, got, I was there for networking. Here, I was just there to watch football. But I got to know a lot of people. Sure. And do you think that our sports and our community contributes? Because there's a lot of that. We got to pay the bills. We got to have our business that that makes sure. that gets the, everything done. But you get to know people in the community with with what we make through our sports. And so right. Chiefs, exactly. both of yeah. you with the football. You think football is yeah. the best sport? What do you guys well, like? I mean, football, I, I love football. I love baseball. Obviously, I love my Cardinals. So <laughs> okay. And Nick, you too. What what would you say your favorite uh, sport to watch? Football would be my favorite, but I, I love baseball as well. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm down for either. <laughs> okay. And, and I'll, I'll just to throw it out there, not to say that we have any particular bias, because I love basketball. Michael Jordan. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's great. Hockey. We love the blues. I got my blues ring on. There it is, everybody. <laughs> but right. I just think there's so much of that that we need to bring more into our community. Well, sure. And we've got guys here that are willing to come in and share how their business runs, what they do, how they make a difference, and, and, and how you can really – um, bring us all together because we've got a bunch of problems that emerge and that's just kind of the history of humanity sure there's always some new problem we've got to solve but boy well you guys are taking on a big one that might be something that uh depending on who you believe there's enough of this to last a few more years there's enough of this to last a few centuries right. we don't know but we better be ready uh, i think that's my joke about elon musk is that I think Elon was just like, forget it. Let's just go to Mars, you know? <laughs> That's right. That's and right. I think we're a little bit away from that. <laughs> we're a little away. And I would it. say still at this point, Earth's a better place to live <laughs> I think so. than yeah. Mars. Uh, it made, it, if the sun expands, like they say, in my bias, a few more years, I think Mars is the fourth planet. I'll put it in the rings for everybody. Mars is the fourth planet. We're the third planet. Right. So as a sun, we had a long time before. Yeah, we got, we got, we got. But I mean, time. literally, we're all trying to solve problems. And I just really right. appreciate you guys taking the time to come well, in here and talk in yeah. so much depth about all of this. Well, we appreciate you having us. I mean, it helps us to get our message out, and this is truly our message, is, yeah. to, is to help and assist. Well, that's one thing I love about small business owners and people that are starting their own company, is because it's like you're talking to the owner. you got the guy who's made the decision to make right. this happen, and he wants to do it. So mm -hmm. talk, finish up with me for one more word about why you love your business, if you would, Ronnie. Well, again, I mean, I can't say it enough, you know, uh, being able to help people, uh, especially in an industry that has 
of some bad publicity. I mean, let's just say it like it is. I mean, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a way for me to give back and, and educate the people so they don't get uh, caught up in a bad financial situation. Sure. I think that's important, but I also want to say that it's a dynamite industry. It's wonderful, oh, it but is. it's very it important. It's a, it's a Just got to make sure you find yeah. the right people to work that's with. That's exactly right. It's very just, important. I mean, you know, it's, it's not limited to just so. I mean, that, that happens everywhere. So. You, exactly. <laughs> and it's just because it's kind of a new industry. They're like, oh, we've heard all the problems with, exactly. you know, uh, exactly. what do we want to pick an industry? The mortgage industry, the uh, right. sports industry. I mean, we go down the list, but this one's kind of new. And they're going, and then you get into the, comp- oh, yeah. how much of what was going on there was really stuff that happened? How much of it was the competitors right. that say, oh no, solar's the scam. Yeah. Ah, wait, that's study right. this, study yeah, this. Study it. And that's, that's right. why when you find the guys that are experts like you guys that can do that. Sure. Last thing from you, Nick, tell me what, what, th- what you're loving so much about this whole thing now. Uh, Solar is just my passion. I, as soon as I got out of high school, I went straight into it and never left. I mean, it's your your we, we sell value, and mm-hmm. that's the the key that we're helping the environment along with helping people save money. I mean, it's it's I don't know another industry that you can do both those things. Like you're saving people's money, adding value to their homes and also uh, helping the environment. Environmental impact, yes. All right, everybody, there it is. Thanks to our experts, Nick Bowling, Ronnie Mitchell. Got them, all right? And <laughs> these guys are experts. We appreciate them taking the time to come on our show here. This is the Your Little Castle Show. Check out all of our interviews. A ton of experts that we've brought on that you can see the full interviews out there on our Your Little Castle. Take the link and go to the YouTube, the Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok and watch those. And uh, stay tuned for more excitement. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back. Giddy up.